In today's video, we're gonna take a look at and install the four-point detachable docking hardware kit from Hogworks. What's going on, everybody? My name is Andrew. This is Touring Midwest. We're gonna take a look at this in just a second. But if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. We do a lot of motorcycle stuff around here some touring, camping, and things like that on and off the bike. So if you're into motorcycles, travel, everyday carry, that kind of stuff, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of the videos that I've got. It is great to be back. If you've been following me for a while, you're probably aware or maybe aware that the channel was compromised last week and uh, managed to get it back working very closely with YouTube. And we're all back, like I'm in control again. <laughs> and it feels really, really good to say that. So a month or two ago, we took the tour pack off the bike. And uh, my plan has always been to do a detach kit so we can have the tour pack on when we need it, throw a detachable backrest on, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff from Hogworks. I'm really excited to be working with these guys. It's a new partner for the channel. And when I reached out to them, they were super excited about coming on board. So show them the love down in the comments if you would. So to get this installed, I'm gonna remove the seat, remove the saddlebags. I don't think I'd have to remove the seat, but it just gives me a little more room to work. And I like taking the bike apart. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and do that. First, let's get over to the tabletop, get you a heads down view of what's going on, what's in the packaging here. All right, folks, here we go. Hogworks, the Hogworks detach kit, 14 plus four point docking hardware. We're going black because black is cool. Look at that getting all fancy. This is the Civivi Ortis. If you're into knives at all, you've probably seen this one going around the EDC community a little bit. I feel like when I was doing some research, I was like, oh yeah, that sounds great. And then I was watching more videos after I ordered it. And it seems like Elem the, the Elementum might be a little more popular choice, but I'm gonna get that one as well. But so far, I really like this knife. I think I would prefer the blade shape on the Elementum, but it's okay. This is a slicer. This packaging looks good. I'm not real crazy about, <laughs> about the process it's taken to get into these, but that's all right. Very nice. Heavy duty, really good. I'm looking at this stuff right now. I've got some other stuff from Hogworks too that we're gonna talk about perhaps in a different video or whatever, but I was looking at this stuff and it is really, really nicely done. Man, the powder coat on this, just the, just the weight, the quality, you can really feel it here, you guys. All right, so in the packaging, we get the four bolts, four washers, your detach brackets, your four point docking hardware there, and some instructions so you know how to put this thing together. That's it, simple, easy. All right, with everything unpacked and ready to go, all we need to do is start taking some things off of the bike so we have a little more room to work and I'm gonna get into that.
All right, easy peasy. So the only tool you're really gonna need to install this is a quarter inch hex drive. I'm using a quarter inch hex drive socket on a six inch extension bar and my handy little T-handle here. So that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm It's using. not gonna hurt you a bit if you want to use a little bit of blue Loctite on these. because these are gonna be on there for a while. We don't need them loosening up. It shouldn't be too hard for you to distinguish which side goes where. Kinda, kinda goes with the curve of the bike. I don't think they are, I don't believe the side is etched in here anywhere but you would, you would just know. And as usual, we're not gonna tighten these down fully until we get both of the bolts in each side. Uh, their instructions say to actually like put your detachable tour pack or backrest on before you snug these down completely. So we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. So we'll leave them a bit loose. Man, that <laughs> hopefully that loosens up just a little bit. I mean, it's good that there's not any play, but man, she is hard, hard to get on there. Really snug. All right, but now that that bracket's on, we can tighten up these bolts and she'll be nice and secure for a long, long time. So that's pretty good. She is snug, very snug. Nice. That's gonna be great. Now we can go ahead and get the bracket mounted on the underside of the tour pack. And then this part of the detach kit install will be complete. These are 7 sixteenths. I'm going to go ahead and snug them up so we're not scratching up the tour pack. And then, you know, once, once the tour pack's on the bike, if I feel like I need to adjust it, we can just loosen up the bolts and slide it and snug them back down. These tour packs are not light. So it's gonna take some practice to get everything lined up and where you want it. And again, the bracket is very tight. because it's new. So that presents another challenge. But, <laughs> but we are on, we're locked into place and secure and it is solid. Like, 
This doesn't feel any different than it did stock to me. So there you go. This is the first time this tour pack's been on the bike in months. It's all dusty, but at least it's off the floor. I'm gonna build a rack here on this wall to, to mount it to and uh, hang it from. And when the tour pack is off, you can use these covers from Hogworks. This is the docking hardware cover kit. They're magnetic. And that's gonna keep everything looking nice and clean. And of course, probably one of the best things about having a four point docking system on your bike is just the versatility, right? We're able to have the tour pack on or off if we want. And if we still wanna have a passenger on the bike, no problem, because we can just put a backrest on real quick. So let's pop off our magnetic covers. Boom, got our backrest. I went ahead to remove the rear covers, I forgot about that. Could just leave those on and roll like that. You also have the ability to put a rack on. All this stuff is from Hogworks. The quality here, can't really tell on camera, but the quality on this stuff is amazing. Heavy duty, really, really beautiful stuff. The latches very nicely made solid and everything is just really nice it fits together very tightly so again this just gives you some options some versatility nice big rack here if you wanted to put a lunch box on here or if you have a travel bag you can put on here. Just as an example, I've got this bag from Viking Cycles. Now, of course, this bag's not waterproof or anything, but uh, you get the idea. It can hold a good size bag. You could go way bigger than this if you want to. There's a little more tail section sticking out there as well. So just a really nice setup on this four point docking hardware kit. Just really solid, looks really good. The quality is outstanding on this stuff. If you compare like the backrest pad, and the detachable sissy bar to something like Harley Davidson. This just really stands out. It stands out and it kind of sets itself apart a bit. There's some things that I really prefer about this one over the Harley. So very, very nice, comfortable backrest pad. It's gonna keep my passengers happy. I did go with the shorty one here because I figured for long touring and real comfort, we'd have the tour pack on more than likely anyways. So just to have a short, a shorter backrest for passengers um, in this kind of configuration, I wanted to go that route. So yeah, maybe I'll go with the taller one eventually. I don't know, but we do have a different seat coming as well. So that's gonna make a little bit difference as far as the height of the backrest because there won't be quite so much cushion here for the passenger. Sorry, passengers, but yeah, basically, there you go. And you can see that we're slowly switching over to black from chrome. So there's gonna be some chrome bits on this bike, uh, probably for the foreseeable future, but pretty much anything new I'm adding, I'm going black. So I think the black against the superior blue just looks really, really good. So yeah, I'm super happy about this. Um, glad to be working with Hogworks out of Michigan. Like I said, local Midwest company. Very, very cool to have them on board and start a relationship and a partnership with them guys. So, so far I can recommend them 100%. Uh, all these parts are extremely solid, well-made. They look fantastic and uh, super, super happy with everything so far.
So if you like what you're seeing so far, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, go through all the videos. There's like over 500 videos on the channel now um, related to motorcycling and camping and things like that. Just exploring and doing stuff. So yeah, definitely if you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. And that is gonna do it for this one, y'all. Stay safe out there as always. Thank you so very much for being here. We'll catch you next time on Touring Midwest.